hello guys welcome back to the channel and this is our next problem problem number 451a and the pro <coughs> problem link is slash problem slash 451 slash a and the problem can be read as after winning gold and silver in ioi 2014 akshat and malvika went to have some fun now they are playing a game on a grid made of n horizontal and m vertical sticks an intersection point is any point on the grid which is formed by the intersection of one horizontal stick and one vertical stick. In the grid shown below, n equals to 3 and m equals to 3. There are n plus m equals to 6. So n plus m equals to 6. Uh, that means total number of sticks are 6. So uh, uh, here the visual, visual representation of uh, vertical uh, sticks are shown in green and horizontal sticks are shown in red so the number of intersection points are uh, total number of intersection points are 9 so the rules of the games are very simple the player moves in turns Akshat won gold so he moved the first move so always in the game Akshat won first so he moved the first makes the first move during his era move uh, player must choose any remaining intersection point and remove from the grid all his sticks which pass through this point. A player will lose the game if he cannot make a move. So uh, we have to find who will win the game. So uh, that's an implementation problem and you can see the problem tag is implementation. So what we have to do here exactly is let's just move on to our whiteboard and for let's draw one of the test case 2 or 2 so to for 2 and 2 we see here there are 1 2 3 and 4 so there are total number of 4 intersection points as we can see that um, let's just check that so we can also see that and n and m are also greater than equal to uh, greater than equal to 1 so for every step we see that uh, for an intersection point the um, horizontal line and the vertical lines are removed so for the first move if akshat makes then let's n and m be the tracks let's just keep track of something and i will show you how this problem is then it's a very basic problem i think so the initial is 2 and 2 for the first move of akshat let's say that akshat select one so one point point of intersection so this line has to be removed and this line has to be removed so uh, we have removed one vertical line and one horizontal line so what is our n and m uh, one and one so our uh, next grid will be of four, fourth point as it only contains one intersection point as this line has also been removed and this line has also been removed so two and three are also gone so we have only left with one uh, horizontal line and one vertical line so the next move is of uh, malvika yeah. so malvika move makes the move and we come to zero and zero so i think uh, I do not remember the name of A, uh, Akshat, yeah. So Akshat uh, loses the game as he cannot remove any of the uh, vertical or horizontal lines. So sticks, as we can say, so the Malvika wins. Okay, so let's uh, just try another test case 2 and 3. So for 2 and 3, I can just... Um, move into some here and it just uh, cover the test case here so okay yep so 2 and 3 n and m so the initial uh, 2 um, okay so two horizontal lines and three vertical lines so we have total of one two three four five six points and that is our initial uh, structure of the grid and 
let's say Akshat makes the first move so if he selects point number two so he removes this line and this vertical line so um, we are left with one horizontal line and two vertical lines so one horizontal line and two vertical lines so we are left with four and six so next move is by Malvika so Malvika makes his two uh, let's say she selects six point or fourth point anything so he she removes one horizontal line and one vertical lines and we are left with uh, no lines and uh, no no intersection point as these lines are removed so Malvika wins here and Akshat loses so that is our problem mainly and yep I think we have to solve this much only so Malvika wins so let's just code problem number 451a and check whether um, the code forces thinks the same or not or we are into some another direction so yep So what we have to do here is that we have to take INTN and then INTM. Now we have to check while L is not equal to 0 or M is not equal to 0 and as the first move is made by Akshat or uh, yeah, Akshat. So let's take a counter also. So we have checked and then for any intersection point let's just also keep the track of um, who makes the moves Akshat or Malvika so these are the number of games take So what we are gonna do here is that the last game is played by Malvika. So yep, I think we do not need this and um, let's just do it like this. Okay. So Yep, n minus minus for the f uh, first any intersection point, and if c uh, if c equals to equals to zero, that means Akshat is playing the game. Then c equals to one, else c equals to zero. So uh, for the last time, we check if c equals to equals to zero. That means. Uh, so what I have taken like uh, one counter that means if c equals to equals to 0 then Akshat has placed the game and c equals to equals to 1 that means Malvika has played the game so uh, for the last step um, like here c will be 0 then it will become c equals to 1 uh, and after this c becomes 0 that means that the next step is of Akshat so if c equals to 0 then we have to print Malvika else so Akshat I think that makes sense and I've made it clear what does c means I do not have taken two more variables for Akshat and Malvika and I have taken only one counter variable or a variable to measure the state of Akshat and Malvika so first this case passes next one has not run initially I'm sorry here it will be and so yes both up yep 
2 equals to 3 Malvika uh, or 3 equals to 3 Akshat so that is the basic problem and let's see whether code force is accepts our solution or not or we are stuck in some test case so the problem is running running on test 2 6 accepted so yes it was a very easy problem and like when we see these types of problems you do not fear uh, seeing the grid or something like it creates fear in the mind but when you just uh, go with the very simple approach then these problems are solvable within uh, you say 30 lines of code where uh, 12 lines are already covered by PSVM and extra comments so you have just coded 13 to 30 line that is the main code so yep 70 lines of code have solved this problem and it was an easy one so keep watching guys and more problems coming up soon and yes we have covered a lot more here a lot more I can't say but yes I think we are um, we'll be soon moving to problem number page number two so yep okay guys bye bye and keep practicing keep solving next problem coming up is 144a arrival of the general bye bye